check out the solar geoengineering. All right, well, I'm getting ready to start this show, so let's go. What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? All right, guys. I was just checking out the sun this morning. Those sunspots, um, they look a little bit tamer, but I don't know. We'll just keep an eye on it. Uh, but there are some things I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And one of them is, you know, I get a lot of comments telling me the sun is fake, the sun is fake. All right, so after this video, I'm going to take this camera. In this star view solar filter and we're going to look at the sun before they get it all solar radiation management blocked out you know that's what they're doing right now we got some srm taking place and i want to get to it before then you know they're always making these days so damn cloudy by the time i get out here and try and photograph the sun it's already too damn cloudy um Solar radiation management is a crime. You filter out that sun, you're filtering out the best parts of life. Okay, there's a bird on my camera. Come on, bird. Hey, come here. Come here, bird. Don't get it. Actually, I think it just threw up on my camera. Yeah, there he is. What are you doing, Camp Robber? Come on. So the birds are quite a distraction. What else did we want to talk about today? You know, I'm going to put a photo on this side of um, the Antarctica anomaly. I get a lot of folks come in. It's pole shift. It's pole shift. Can you not see the shape of of the beam coming out of Antarctica and up the coast of Africa. Bird, come on, get off of her. Come here. I'm gonna throw a pretzel at him. He didn't care. Um, so anyway, you come at me and you tell me it's pole shift, but you can clearly see it's a radio frequency being generated throughout the atmosphere. I know some are saying right now it's at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, I'm no expert. I've only been studying weather warfare for years. Uh, I just don't know that it's possible for a beam to shoot out through the ocean like that. You know, I believe this is in the atmosphere. I know I'm going against the grain, but, you know, I always do. And I always end up where I should. Um, you know, 5G can't even penetrate through water. That's why they got to have so many of these freaking towers. Um, so I don't expect harp signals to keep that frequency beam under thousands of feet of water, okay? I, ju I just don't think so. I could be wrong. What do I know? We all think we know so much, and it turns out what we thought was something completely different, just like the last four years. Um, now I see they got the H5N1 bioweapon. Uh, everything's been a bioweapon these years, these last few years, you know. 
They told you it was one thing. I fought against it from the beginning. I never participated in any coverings, uh, any of it. None of the psychological propaganda that they wanted me to chew on. I just collect my information. I sit back. I take it in. I let it fall. I don't, I do not need to believe in every psyop that comes my way from um, round earth to flat earth to um, politics. You know, it's all meant to distract us from what is actually happening. And the way I opened up this video, I showed you solar radiation management, geoengineering. This is what my page has become dedicated to. You know, when I first started this stuff, like you, I was in the pole shift, okay? Um, and as I started to research weather warfare, it kept conflicting with everything I was learning in the pole shift community. Now, mind you, 10 years in pole shift, every single video on Observer's channel, every single playlist, every single paper, I studied this stuff like there was no tomorrow because, well, Pole shift, there is no tomorrow, right? Um, all these communities from the Grand Solar Flash, Pole Shift, uh, these things, I believe, now this is my opinion, you can argue with me if you want, I know you guys like to argue with me. I think Pole Shift is ultimately designed to take our eyes off of weather warfare because once you once you assign pole shift to it, you no longer see weather warfare, right? You're waiting for the poles to shift, the earth to turn over. The disturbances, the weakening magnetic field, this is a big one for you guys, the weakening magnetic field. I come on here time after time and make videos showing you where Harp, Arecibo, Trumpso, Maybe not so much Arecibo, but Trump. So long year being all these ionospheric heaters and they're down in Anchorage. They're down in San Diego. I mean, these things are all over the place. They're hidden in large tracts of land. They're on military bases. You have extremely low frequency transmitters along the whole New Madrid fault line. Um, you have them over by Yellowstone. What do you think extremely low frequencies do? These are earthquake generators. Um, there is just way too much happening, way too much information to take in about weather warfare and all the different technology they have from down in the ocean um, up into the exosphere of our planet. Um now, for you flat earthers, you're like, space ain't real. Space is fake. Have you seen Starlink? I've watched Starlink myself now for years. It's up there. So why don't you tell me what you think that is? It's not a projection. This thing is being seen everywhere. Um, and as to Project Bluebeam, you really need to step back from that. Some of you smarter folks, you critical thinkers, need to step back a little bit from blue beam because you're going to be like, oh, that's fake. That's blue beam. When in fact, it may be real. So don't let these conspiracy theories drag you so deep that you cannot see reality. Um, like I said, I take it all in. I let it sit. I made the mistake for years of believing every damn thing I read. <laughs> That'll get you nowhere. Did you see how fast it happened? How fast our community got split a couple weeks ago? Faster than a laser hitting the sun. Some folks in this uh, community, while they would see these images and run with them, it conflicts with their other beliefs, whether it's the grand solar flash or it's the sun or pole shift, you know, it is not the sun. We have solar probes up there. We have video of lasers hitting this thing. 
I don't care if you think it's close or 93 million miles away. It doesn't matter. It's happening. They are messing with the oceans, Earth's crust, the atmosphere. Um, you know, in Dubai, everyone was like, cloud seeding, cloud seeding, cloud seeding. Yes, they've been doing that over in the Middle East for decades. This is nothing new over there. I've been watching it on my Twitter account, X, you know, an X. It's the signature of a dark, satanic, occultist magician, okay? That guy in... He's not who you think he is. None of them are. They're all part of these evil bloodlines that dominate Earth, our minds, our hearts. Now, they're not getting my mind, and they're not getting my heart, okay? So I guess right now, you know, I'm hearing about this new bioweapon, H5N1, and how they're finding it can go from cattle right into humans. Well, they've been destroying the poultry industry, the beef industry for years now. All these fires. Now, I worked as a ranch hand down in the lower 48 for a long time. I never once had a fire on my ranch. Uh, never once had any sickness, you know, other than the um, uh, pneumonia that the calves may get if they're put in the wrong place or not taken care of. Um, but for the most part, everything was always healthy. Of course, that was my job. If I didn't do my job, I'd be one crappy cowboy. You know, let calves die if you can help it. So anyway, I guess I wanted to say is stock up on, you know, before they do more lockdowns and closures and, you know, don't participate in it like, oh, I'm locked down. I'm so stand up for your rights. Do not allow yourselves to be locked down. Do not allow them to mask you, muzzle you. Um, I'm still seeing it, man. I tell you what, when I see a cowboy wearing a face covering, I am so damn embarrassed. I'm telling you, it's all part of a psychological operation. Don't live the lie. All right, well, I guess I want to get ready and start taking photos of the sun. And I guess that's all I had to say for the moment, but I'm sure I'll be back in no time at all. So. Until next time, stay aware, be prepared, keep looking up. There's a war going on for your mind.